All right, the map is Classic World, and these are the bonuses, five, two, three, five, seven, and two. And we're the Magenta player, first in the turn order out of five. And we have nothing in North America or South America. I could cap a Middle East. I do have a lot of troops around here. Yeah, we cap a Middle East. Maybe we can get Australia somehow. Although green caps there, so unless green messes up, that's gonna be not so great for us. I find it unlikely we can hold uh, Africa here, but maybe we get away with it. All right, we did not get to see where any other capitals went, but nobody capped in Africa, so that's good for us. I'm gonna stack these troops right here, and I'm gonna start working on grabbing Africa one turn at a time if I can, and I'm gonna put a few of these over here so you don't get any ideas about attacking me. If I'm lucky, somebody capped behind you and the two of you are fighting for Africa, Australia rather. All right, so green just put one troop here and got a card up here. So I'm not sure if they're going for uh, Australia just yet. But I think the blue player might be botting out. They did not take their turn or they're just AFK. Ooh, red slams. Uh, ooh, red's going for, uh, are you going for Europe in round one? There's no way we let you hold Europe. So green going for Australia, red going for Europe, and the black player stacks right there. Please don't hit my five. Why'd you do that? Okay, so the black player is going for North America. All right, I'm gonna put these here for when I attack these out in the future. This to match you. And I put one over here to guarantee this hit for a card. And now I see where capital is. Good to know. Um, I wish I could put more over there. I will just try and move that back so you're less inclined to hit it. If I had known you had so little there, I would have just stacked everything here and just come running in and yoinked your capital. But now I know you're a person who will not defend their capital very aggressively, which tells me you probably have some troops right here, right? Or you're a big risk taker. Hmm, green just fortified six over there, which tells me they probably just got done securing Australia. They didn't have it last turn, they only had five, so nobody's grabbed a bonus yet unless you just grabbed one. Blue's back, they're taking their turn. I have to assume that they're in South America if um, green just fortified six over here, I imagine. Unless they had our cap right there, right? I think you're gonna try and push me out 5v3, no? Wait, did you bot out? Red bot it out! Really? Wait, were you a bot before I didn't realize? If I'm lucky and I'm the only person that knows this, I could try and get your capital. Ooh, I don't like that though. That 10 is scary. You're gonna hit right there because you see the cap too and wanna grab it? No. You lost four attacking over there. I think the blue player had this bonus and you just broke it. Or maybe that was their capital? I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I have this attack to here to get vision on that. If it's a weak capital, I yoink it. Five troops for us. I need to defend against you, but I also want to like keep an eye on this. I don't want the bot attacking my eight stack there. So let's attack here just to get vision on what's happening over here. Okay. I don't care if you have uh, that bonus right now. I don't want to mess with you. I'm looking to grab this over here. See what's happening over here. Okay, we can't take that right now, but I can fortify this over to there and cross my fingers and hope that green doesn't stack seven here and then try 23B10 to take my capital. If they do, that's kind of GG for us. I'm taking a big risk right now. Please don't do it. Okay, they're attacking somewhere else. Luckily for me, they did not take that. And they do have Australia. Blue started with five, okay. Moment of truth, what does red do here? I don't want you to be stacking on your capital. Red, I eventually want to take that on the cheap. But alas, that day is not today. Five troops for the black player, they do not have a bonus. I need to move that seven away out of there, they feel threatened. No, they're attacking inside, okay. I'm not gonna try and hold Africa because I don't think red will let me. I'm gonna stack everything right here. I'm gonna hit over here to uh, give the bot a path to attack off its capital and hopefully it leaves less than six there. And then I'm gonna fortify these over to here for safety against the green player. I don't wanna attack that bot's capital unless it only has like two or three on it, considering that green has more troop income than I do right now. Green's very patient. They just wanna sit on their uh, one point hold for Australia and just card trade and get stronger and stronger over there. The blue player attacks black down there. Blue and uh, black are fighting a lot. Red's a bot. Green's just here uh, saving up. Green's my biggest scary threat right now. Come on, use the six to attack there. Get off that cap. I want it on the cheek. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Don't fortify back. Don't do it. I'm not trying to hold Africa, even though I probably could have gone for it because I've got a bot next to me, so it's unlikely the bot is ever going to let me hold Africa. No, don't fortify back to it. Okay, four. Maybe we go for four. Five troops for us. Uh, do I card trade for safety here? No, I don't. We stack these here. I'm gonna take this and hopefully I don't lose like eight troops. Big risk here, come on, don't lose too many. Only lost two, fantastic. And nobody knows I just yoinked that until the next round goes around. And then I'm gonna fortify these down to here just for a little bit more defense against green. But now I have the same income as green, although I have to defend on two points, they only defend on one. They're just calmly card trading over there, that's fine. 
five troops for blue, they still have their capital. Red trades in on four, and red is stacking next to my two capitals. The downside of having these two capitals is the red bot is going to stack against my two capitals nearly exclusively, unless it eventually attacks into here, and then it'll start stacking against you as well. I don't know that I want you to have Africa down there, Mr. Bot. I don't want to attack in here at all. I want green to be forced to eventually start attacking uh, red here for card trades. Get them forced to hit a two stack or a three stack eventually, right? You started with seven troops. Did you just yoink uh, blue's capital or did you uh, secure South America there, good sir? Seven troops for us and a forced card trade on five gives us six more troops. I'm gonna break the bot either I don't want to waste my troops hitting a three, good dice. Hey, only lost one, not bad. Because I don't really want the bot, if the bot gets more troops, I'm the one who suffers the most from it right now, unfortunately. Kinda wish my cap was in here so the bot couldn't ever get that. Force card trade on five for green. Are you thinking about slapping my six over there? You're stacking some over here so you can, you wanna continue card trading over here. You stack your cap a little bit. Fortify over to there. You're trying to split the board so nobody can go through here without going through your 17 stack. Interesting. Splitting Asia in half. Blue has only five troops, which means the black player did not take their capital, which means the black player does have South America, unless you guys like traded capitals or something, right? It's also possible the black player might be uh, breaking down here without me realizing it. They trade in for 10 troops. That's a scary 31 stack. That's a very scary 31 stack. I've got 19 there. Do they try that? No, they fortify away. Okay, terrifying. That's probably them attacking off their capital there, right? Put four here and three here to just try and defend against this threat and that threat. And then we're going to, I want vision over here. Just see what's going on over here. Okay, I'm not gonna break you because let's just try to be like friendly good neighbors. Also, I don't think you have that bonus. I think blue's capital is in North America. Had to attack twice there, with a waste of troops, but I needed to break you and I wanted vision over here. And now I know red's got three over here as well. Okay, so green's the kind of player who's more than happy to sit here for probably two hours, just card trading stacking here and here. Good to know. Thank goodness for editing, for you guys anyways. I'm stuck here. Only four troops for the red player. No, wait, no, the, no. Actually, four troops of red player. That means they have more territories. And they're stepping, they're stacking very aggressively against this cap, which I don't really like. Seven troops for you. Is your capital right here? And you yoink the blue's capital, and then blue yoinks yours the same turn? What's going on? Probably not, because you had like 30 troops, right? They fortify over against me. I don't want them to think I'm attacking them. I've got my own problems with the bot and green over here. Split between my two capitals and put one over there because I want to get my card here. I'm not going to try. I The bot can have the extra three troops. I'm not going to slap a six for a card and to stop them. It, like, it's going to cost me more than it's going to stop them. Like, if I hit a six, there's a good chance I lose four or five troops. I'd rather the bot just gets an extra three troops compared to me losing four or five off my stack. Because while you're a threat, you're also a big threat. And eventually we can force the bot to have to attack here to get a card and all of a sudden you're stacking against green as well instead of just me. Although green's always gonna have more than me because I'm splitting in two capitals, which means green will um eventually, uh, if the bot stacks here, it's all, it's gonna go for me regardless. The bot gunner for me is making life even harder. I'm almost tempted to just give away a capital. If I leave this capital and move over entirely to this capital, there's a chance that green yoinks that capital and then green is split between two capitals, easier for somebody else to yoink a capital from them. And also, then they're all then they're also dealing with a threat of red. That honestly might be my best move, though it does risk them holding all of Asia at some point if we're not careful. I would have to slam. I need to get these over to here, and your seven and nine are in the way. How many did you start with this turn? Seven, seven, five, seven. Everybody's getting seven except for blue's only getting five. Do I dare push myself down to only five troop income to get myself off from having two caps? Eventually, somebody's going to want to progress the game, and they're going to attack a capital, or the bot's going to get a big card trade and they're gonna attack a capital. Whose capital is gonna be? It's mine. Force card trade on five here. We trade these, and I guess we're gonna push through the bot before they get any stronger, and we're gonna abandon this castle. I don't really love this, but because of how everybody's playing and the way, I'm stuck between a bot who's just waiting to slam me with uh, their cards, and um, a player who's also just probably waiting for the same opportunity. Only lost three, not bad there. So we're gonna put everything right over here and cross our fingers that green takes that capital and then they split in two and then now they're the one who's got like you know 20 here and 20 here and the bot will slam them and they're the one taking the damage from the bots also the black player's sitting out here so this is like a car trade area for now Mmm, they have, what is this massive 25 stack that just came out? Did you just, you, you had a 25 stack inside of there? No, you had like a, a, you had a couple troops on there and you put your card trade on it. You had like four or five on there. You card traded stacked on there. 
and left. I didn't realize you had a territory in there still. Good to know. You card traded for 25. So you had some just hanging out there the whole time. And green's not dumb. They did not take my capital. But now the, the bot will take it. The bot will get even stronger. The bot will continue to stack against their uh, uh, capital here and mine. But when the bot eventually gets strong enough to card trade in and go for somebody, they're going to go for your capital, which has 30 less troops than mine, most likely. If I'm trapped in between red and green, I'm going to use the bot to my advantage. And this is kind of like what you're forced to do when you have a player who plays like this, who just wants to get their position and then sit here and card trade and card trade and card trade for the next two hours, hoping that somebody else all self-destructs kind of forces you to play the same way if you want to win unfortunately black player trades in for 30 they put four there and attacked down into here somewhere probably trying to get a quick card how many troops do you have overall i see 85 right here i've got 81 you're slightly in the lead because i you know took some damage fighting uh red a little bit more aggressively here but i think they'll change soon put it mostly on my cap but i also need to car trade and i'd rather car trade over here and then move this back out of the way there's a chance the bot stacks them here and hits that out of there which wouldn't be great, but I mean, for now it's fine. I can always card trade in here if I need to, or stack some here and hit that, or whatever. Ooh, they stacked those right there. You can hit that three? More likely the one. No, you did hit the three. Interesting. You want the bot out of the card trade area. That's actually fine by me. That just increases the odds that the bot stacks around in here, uh, messing with you. I don't actually want to card trade the bot in here. I want the bot to take this and take this and eventually take this. And then the bot's going to have, you know, stacking here or stacking here against you. Eight troops for the bot. I mean, somebody broke its Africa, right? This would be five. No, it has the, it has this and Africa, but less than 12 territories. Still stacking here, unfortunately, but attacked away. I don't understand why this bot has no interest in stacking against your capital. Seems unfair. All right, five troops for us. We'll stack those, uh, one right there, these right here, and we continue with the plan that we're being forced to do because, well, if green does this, then the only way I can win is do the same thing, unfortunately. Because if I start making plays attacking black or blue or red, it'll cost me a lot of troops, then green just kind of cleans up. Green trades in for 35 troops on four cards. I wonder why. The early trade-in. Are you going for me? No. Okay, they hit the bot and they lose 11 more than the bot does. Okay, the plan's working. The plan of me leaving the capital um, is actually working out. Because now they're splitting on two capitals. And now the bot's going to stack here and here against you as well. It does increase your income. But in progressive, it doesn't really matter so much once we're on round 11. Me getting five to you getting nine, it's not a big deal um, when the bot's going to be slamming you a bunch, right? You're sitting on probably like 120 troops or so, if I had to guess. They only had three troops. That tells me that the black player on their turn um, broke here and here. We might also just eliminate the bot for cards at some point here. There's a good chance the bot is confined mostly in here and here. They, the problem is somebody could be kill guarding it in North America, and I just don't know. I could attack in to find out. Hit here, hit here, hit here, and that'll give me all the vision I need. I know Black has control of all this. I can see what's going on with other people's capitals. It does make it so that I can no longer attack this way in the future, though, because nobody will probably attack that back. Five troops for us and a forced trade on five. Extra 42 troops for us. Fantastic. The bot has five cards. The card trades are fairly large. 45. I'm going to take a risk. It's the name of the game. And we go for the bot kill here. We hope that they don't have too much. And we hope that they're not confined in the other area of the world. If not, we just fed the bot kill to somebody else. And we woe and lament so very, very much. And we'll try and grab these bonuses while we're at it. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers, cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Tragic, we just fed the bot kill. Somebody had the bot trapped in North America, unfortunately. So I think green will probably go get that kill right now. But they don't have a card trade. I mean, nine's probably enough to get it, honestly. Yeah, they go in, they're going in there to kill the bot. No, wait, they can't. They stacked it all right there. They're in the way. The blue player won't know what I just did. The black player might figure it out and go get the kill. Honestly, I mostly worry about the green player. Black and blue are fighting each other a lot. Green is my concern. Green player is playing good neighbor and doesn't break my bonuses. I'm okay with this. 45 troop trading from you. Surely you take out the bot for their five cards. That puts you very much back in the game. Yep, they do. That's fine. The blue player has been kind of getting messed up by the black player for a while, so if somebody gets that uh, card trade, I'd, I'd rather be you than green. I guess what I should, in retrospect, I should have, you know, I could have like scouted from this direction, actually. I could have just sat 20 troops here and attacked it and just looked, right? So I think right now, strongest player, I mean, that's a lot, that's a big troop trade in. Depends how much you guys have fought. You guys could both be very low in troops, blue and black, or it could actually be pretty healthy, I don't know. Big hit right there. You can go for me, or just work on the black player. You're going to break my bonus, okay. You're just doing some scouting, and why would you want me to have more bonuses, right? Green is probably hoping for this, for other people to break me, right? 
I mean, just holding one is probably fine. I see the blue player has taken the capital. How many did you start with? Five? How do you, is there an, is there no capital in South America? There might be no capital in South America. And that's why capitals are not trading hands down here. But blue wants to hold South America and they want to hold it by blocking me inside of Africa. That's fine. I don't mind card trading in Africa and I get a plus five here. It's not even that big of a deal at this point. You've got 116. That might be the bulk of yours. Are you scoping out green? Or are you trying to come in and break their South America from this way? I think you're scoping out green. You probably break me too, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Green doesn't break me because they just kind of figured these guys do it for them. Yeah, I think that their plan was to go, like they didn't want to break me, but they wanted to deal with blue. Black and blue are having a massive grudge match. And unfortunately, the path for them to best fight each other was uh, <laughs> through me a little bit. Ooh, and their turn ended before they could fortify out of my way, but they did break theirs, I think. Somebody has two capitals. Oh, uh, green ducks, I gave it to them, right? I could card trade for 60 here. I don't have a path for my capital to go here. I don't think we do. I think we stack one right there. Stack these over right here. Things are happening with blue and um, uh, black over there. I'm going to slowly work my way in there one at a time to make it look like, like I'm just card trading. And keep an eye, because I think blue or black are going to self-destruct on each other. And it's going to be an opportunity for me to yoink a capital on the cheap. Now that the bot's out of here, I don't mind holding two capitals. Blue will get another card trade here. 60 troops. And since I waited, I'll get 65 when I go. Unless somebody else trades in early too, right? Four troops for the black player. They have no capital. I could try to eliminate them for cards. They'll end their turn with four. I start with my turn with four. So if I take them out, it's a double card trade. The problem is... Wait, wait, are you a bot? You're a bot. So you bought it out. Now blue has two capitals as well. Do I limit the bot for cards? They do have like 100 troops, so it's not actually worth... The bot's got like 100 troops still. So if I take them out... It's a slight gain for me, but honestly, it's they're, they're spread out across the board. It's going to be hard to take them out. Letting the bot sit around and card trade again probably actually helps me out, if I had to guess. I'm going to keep uh, peeking in here little by little. Okay, we found a capital. I'm not going to move that. If Blue wants to slap that five, they can. I'm going to hope that they don't, and I can attack down here. So we know where one capital is right here. Green getting a little card over there. I had the correct read on green. They're just going to do the, the, the thing where they just s sit and wait the entire match for everybody else to self-implode, which unfortunately forces me to do the same thing, unless you have like an overpowered start. Okay, there's Blue's turn. If they have 70 there, I'm imagining they have probably about 70 on the other one as well. Tells me you have like 140 troops, Um, so you're doing pretty healthy. I just need to keep scouting out the board and slowly gain vision. Find out who's where, where the bot is at, try to line up for a bot elimination, see if the bot slams somebody. Card trade of five here. Gives me an extra 70. Love that. I'll stack some right there, the rest of my capital. And I'm going to keep scouting one little turn at a time. And then, oh, you have three in every territory. Is that intentional? Cross my fingers, hope that blue doesn't try to break this. Maybe blue's hoping to hold North America. Big card trade of 75 for you. Nobody knows I got 184 right here. I've got the best defense on a single cap. And green slaps the 10 from the black bot. I think green might be trying to eliminate the bot. No. Why'd you slap that 10? I guess they don't want the bot stacking near their cap, maybe? That does burn through some of their troops, though. All right, so blue attacks Alaska. Do they hit my seven? They don't care about my seven. And they fortify that away, give me a path to card trade over here. Okay, so blue has blocked their capital uh, from moving out that direction. And they're okay with this idea of the two of us like card trading or me moving through. I like this. We're being friendly. You're still bot. You've not come back. Five troops for us. I'm not going to card trade. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to keep put, just putting 10 over there and just kind of gradually moving through this area one at a time. Blue doesn't seem to care. I don't think Blue cares about trying to grab this North America bonus, otherwise they would have tried to just push me out and grab that five over there. Green trades in for 80. Green keeps trading in early. Why? I think Green's the one who's dealing with the bot uh, stacking near them right now, actually. You want to eliminate the bot? Stacking for defense because you're scared of the bot? Seven for Blue. They've got two capitals, so they don't have South America. The bot's hanging out in South America. Big 85 troop trade in. Ooh, that's a 227 stack. That's a lot. So that plus that. You've got probably about 300 troops. I've got 200. So you're actually in the lead. That elimination was helpful. You're trying to eliminate the bot right now for cards. Okay, I'm fine with that. Or you're going to hit green. Are you, do I see an attack down here? Uh, if I see this dice moves, that means you hit the... No, you scouted out green's capitals, decided to not attack them. I think blue... So blue's got like 300 troops. You're actually ahead of me by about 100. That elimination 
on uh, red that I fed she was actually very profitable for you. Bot doing just bot things over there. Not gonna card trade because I don't feel like I'm in a big threat right now. Keep this up to 10 because, you know, it's a nice even number. Maybe let them think that I just like the number 10. Hit this. Okay, and now we have discovered where the last capital's at, and yeah, we'll call that good right there. So this is the bulk of what Blue has right here. They've got about two. They've got about 300 troops. I'm gonna car trade for 90, would put me still slightly uh, below them. They're actually quite in the lead. I, I really goofed feeding the red kill. I, I needed to scout before I went for the red kill. Now we know for the future, make sure to know where all the bots stuff is at. Don't take those risks when you could easily just have looked. So we we both ha effectively have a kill guard on the black bot unless green just comes tr like rolling through all of this. Okay, so the bot is no longer over here. So the bot is contained to here, here, possibly here. I don't think they're here. Could be here and down in this area as well. So if we want to go for the bot kill, it's pretty viable. 90 troop trading. Don't want to do it right now. Luckily, the bot's not stacking near my cap. The bot's not going to stack near that 222. Okay, now my cap is freed. Thank you, bot. We leave this here until we decide to take out the bot because that's a, that's just a free near kill guard. I mean, green could go through here and find it, right? When did these get down to one? I thought I had like a five stack there somewhere. Force card trade on five here. 97 troops for us. We take this. That's huge. Bot only has two cards. I don't want that. I don't actually want to keep freeing you to go up. I'll attack uh, this way for a card. Actually, I want vision on the board, but I need to go this way to potentially take out the bot. When the time comes, I'll attack over here and get that. The bot might hit that nine or whatever, who cares? That'll be fine, but right now the bot is free to path, so where I can hit this, you know, only put three over there, and then we hit here, here, we split some to hit here, here, and here, and then the rest come down here, 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 or split again, here, 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 here. If you didn't have that cap, it'd be easy to go around, right? I mean, I might actually just hit there just to have vision, right? If I card trade, I can just take a look. Bot won't have too much there, there, I imagine. All right, I see you putting those over there. We're gonna hit. You hit there, you're freeing my caps some more. Thank you. Blue and I are kind of freeing each other's caps. Maybe I should fully free your caps so that way if you want to, you can go flying out that way. Maybe after the bot is eliminated. If I can get this bot kill, that's gonna be really, really helpful for us. But it depends how many troops they have. If the bot's sitting on like, you know, 100 troops down there, not really worth, right? Five troops for us. Hmm, I don't really feel like hitting a seven. I'm gonna put these over here. We'll start snooping from this direction over here, right? Maybe a couple more attacks, just get some better vision on the board. Okay, we have now, now we know the bot's not over there for the moment. Call that good. So the bot is here, 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 maybe here, maybe here, and probably mostly in, down in here. Starting to learn where they're at. Hmm, green portal flies away from my four, interesting. Probably still want to use it to attack over here for cards. I'd like to know how much you have on your caps, would be good, down here, green. They stacked it there, what an interesting place to stack it. Oh, you going for the bot kill this turn? They're going for the bot kill this turn, and their 222s can take them out. They're going to kill the bot for three cards. No, you don't. Bot trades in on three, so now we don't want to take them out. Luckily, they don't care about stacking near me. That's good. Honestly, I just need to get vision on your guys' caps, and if nobody, if you guys don't care about limiting the bot, then I can just kind of wait for, um... Ooh, big hit from the bot there. Wait for the bot to eventually slam you guys. If you guys, ne if you guys never mess with the bot, it's eventually going to slam you guys, because it's not stacking near me. I want to see what's down here, but not make it look like I'm scoping you too much. You've got 200 on each. Attack over here. We'll see one of these. We call that good. So you have about 400 troops, a little bit over actually. I've got 300. You've got about 400, 400. Unfortunately, I am in third place somehow. But as long as you guys don't take out that bot, eventually it's going to slam one of you guys. Well, there goes my five, but now that you know you've got 200 on each of those, not a big deal. They're still a bot, they never came back. Why is there 20 there and 10 there? You're trying to kill ground my one? What's happening? Uh, that's right, we've got a forced trade here. Give me that 117, helps catch me up a little bit. That's why I was so far behind, I hadn't card traded yet. Now I'm up to 400, so I've got two cards. You saw two. Maybe I'm a little bit closer than I realized. Yeah, you've got about 420, 30, I've got 427. I end my turn three cards, you end your turn three cards. I'm even with green on troops and they like attacking the bot. I think that's their strategy to keep the bot from stacking near them. Blue trades in. Now they're up to 500 and some, so I think Blue's got about 100 more troops than myself and Green. Myself and Green are fairly even. And neither of you are going for the bot kill. The bot's gotta have probably a couple hundred just sitting down there somewhere. 
One of these guys' his caps is about to get slammed pretty soon. I want vision down there, but I also don't want to like chew through a 12 stack, right? I could try like hitting here and here, but I also don't want to, I don't want to block my cap's movement. They split in two. They're trying to set up for a card block situation. Blue wants to work with me to card block green. It's not going to work. They can always just card block with, um, they, they can always hit uh, the, the black bot for cards. They've got one, two, three, four spots they can always use to uh, deal with the bot. It's a big 87 stack from the bot there, though. I'm just going to put these right here, and we're going to attack over here like this. And that can chill there. If you guys want to go around that, you can. I'm using green strategy against them. You want to sit here? It's been like, it's been over 45 minutes, and green's just been sitting here this whole time card trading, forcing me to do the same. All right, we've been pushed out of Japan. The fact that Blue's starting to do this is telling me that they're starting to lose patience or they want to take a risk here. They attack down to there, okay. Only left, I think, three there. And they fortify them back. So they're hap They're not trying to block anything. They're just going to card trade with green right there. The bot trades again. How many did they get? They got 127 troop trade in. The bot doesn't really care about putting too many next to me right there. The, there we go. This is what I've been waiting for this whole time. The bot finally starting to put big stacks next to you. The problem is the bot's probably splitting here, 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 and here, five spots in your caps. All right, if I want to get a quick card, I have to either hit this one, which the bot will then hit, attack like that and stack like 10 or 12 there, or just card trade blue over here again. So blue and black can card trade over here. Maybe that's their uh, plan. And maybe that maybe that's what they're trying to go for, is they're trying to... Um, did I fortify this? Wait, no, nah, it's fine. I think what Blue is trying to do is they understand that the, the, the black bot is going to end up having like 100 here, 50 here, 50 here, 50 here, 50 here, you know, 50 here, 50 here, and eventually make it so that um, myself and Blue can just card trade in here. And then if Green wants to get bigger or stronger, they have to uh, hit the bot. Or, or what they're doing is they're trying to um, card trade with Green right here and block me out. They're setting themselves up for a card trade in either situation. If I see them card trading with Green here, my next card trade, I might stack right here and just slap that Green stack right there. That way Green is pinned just right here. Unless Blue beats me to it, no. Okay, so the Blue player wants to card trade with Green. So Blue's not actually working with me, I don't think. No, okay. Well, if that's the case, we card trade in five. We slap that Green stack right out of there. But then how do I get it back? We send just enough. We put just enough there to hit that green stack out of there. And this as well. And then I then we're in a situation where I can get some cards in here. Or I can, uh, ha you know, we're all card trading with the bot, right? Force trade on five here. 132. Love this. We put... Or I card trade with blue. Yeah, that would work too. We put that many right there. This could backfire. Blue could slap those out of there. Green could get mad and self-destruct on me. We slap this out of there. And, um... Now you're card trading with me, not green. Now green is entirely uh, here and here and here. They might have some stuff in here. The bot was here. They card trade. If they want to, they can come right back up, do the same thing, but they have to go through probably like 50 or 100 of the bot's troops, right? No more cheeky, the two of you trying to card trade and force me to hit the bots like 24 at a time. I don't think so. Seven troops for blue. Also, I don't know what's going on lately, but I've been getting a lot of matches where normally these matches resolve in like 30 minutes or something, but these are taking like an hour plus lately. I don't know what the deal is. All right, they hit that right there. My next turn, I hit that so we can card trade. It occurs to me I should have hit this and four five back that way. I really signaled to them that we're card trading right there. They're pointing at that stack right there. Okay, I think what they did there by clicking that and pointing at me, they're showing that like, hey, let's trust and card trade as things what they're doing there, right? What if I attacked and moved to have it sit right here, and then this player can, uh, the blue player can, wait, what happened there? I didn't see what the, uh, the bot did. I'll stack these right here, and I'll actually attack over to here, if I can. There we go. And we'll chill out here, and if blue wants to, they can hit here and defend on three, or they can hit that 23, fortify this here, and they have a one-point hold blocking the bot, although that, that actually does set them up for card trading with green. If they're determined to card trade with green, they could just work their way through the bot over here, but that does burn through a lot of their troops, and I can just roll this right back after them, plus card trades exist, you know? Green doing the same thing they've been doing the whole match, just sitting up card trade and wait for somebody else to self-destruct or something, forcing the rest of us to do the same. 140 troop trading from blue. They put it all there. You can slap my 60 stack and like seal the deal that you're working with the green against me. We're going to card trade. What's the plan here? You hit that 60 stack, then we're enemies. And it's very clear to me that you're working with green against me. Hmm, you put 100 there. Oh, maybe that's just you trying to like encourage me to card trade in within you. You don't want me coming back out. I don't know what this play is. I'm not sure if that's antagonistic or just a form of communication. How many troops did you start with? You started with 10 and you have no capitals, right? 
because you have these right here. Did you take a green? Did you just take green's capital and I didn't realize it? Has the moment happened? I might need to scout. If it's not too expensive to scout, I want to take a look what's happening over here. If it's expensive, we just stop. Oh, hello. Okay. Good to know. Green is uh, defending themselves off cap a little bit. Nine troops for you. So this is their how, how they're planning to deal with the bot. Well, what's going to happen is the bot's going to card trade and do some damage to you. You attack that way. Feels like you're trying to card block me. No, no. They fortified away. That's a card trade possibility there. Blue finally uh, wants a card trade with me in here. Okay, I'm down for this. Blue wants a card trade in here while the bot messes up the green player. I'm cool with that. Five troops for us. I wonder if green was trying to card block the bot. I just didn't realize it. Got card trade in five here. Gives us 147. We take these. I think what I should do, I think I should always hit here to make sure that the bot can get a card. The problem is that the gr green can get that card, right? 150 troop trade in. Well, if they want to stay out here, the bot's eventually going to card trade and slap that, right? I need to card trade with blue while also card trading with the bot. Green might get a few card trades from that too. We can't card block green, now that I think about it. All we can do is force green to hit the bot a bunch. Am I seeing you do... That's three attacks. Are you trying to limit the bot? I see you attacking a bunch. That's four attacks. You're fighting the bot right now. You just fought, you just attacked the bot a bunch. You just did like four attacks down there, but you came back 41 troops, but I'm not, I wasn't paying, te paying attention how much you put there. Blue trades in 155. Happy to card trade. Bot gets three. So you went down and broke the bot. The bot card trades. Green's gotta be getting weak. All right, the bot doesn't hit this. Interesting. You got a card though, I think. I think we just sit here doing this for a while. Green hits there for a card, okay. Hmm, they didn't fortify back. What if they fortified something else? I would love to know how much the bot has sitting here and here and here. All right, so the bot's finally got a stack right there because Magenta hit that and the bot's attacked here and split. So we no longer are able to get easy vision down there without wasting a bunch for us. So I want to free your, it doesn't matter if I free your capital here. We hit here, it's not a big deal. It also gives me vision that you've got three, five, six hundred, at least seven hundred. I've got seven hundred. You probably have like eight hundred. You're like a hundred ahead of me, right? The green player's attacking a bunch. I think they're they're running through and breaking some of uh, the bonuses from the black player, the bot. Got a car trade on five right here. Turn into three cavalry. Gets us one hundred sixty-five. Getting nice and strong. The plan continues. We keep doing the same thing. It's doing fine for us. Green's attacking the bottom bunch. Not sure we have five down there. Oh, probably from your card trade, right? Blue trades on four. I wonder why. Because the bots probably has like two or three hundred right here and you're defending against it. We're finally getting there. Oh, and they hit down below and lose 126 troops. That's big. Whatever lead blue had on me is now gone unless they fully eliminate the bot right now, which would give them a car trade, which would kind of even out the damage they just took. They're attacking a bunch. I see these dice rolling down there. You gonna feed me that bot kill? How much do you have left? You had like 400 there. No, you only lost like 120. Trade on three bots. No. Here's the thing. I'm not sure I want to eliminate the bot. As long as green or blue doesn't snag that kill before me, the longer the bot's here, the better for me. Just cost you 120 troops. Catch up the difference. I've got 800. You've got probably three, five, six, maybe 700. You probably have some over two here, I think, as well, right? I could scout there for vision to see what you have over there. I'm going to do exactly that. You probably won't love me doing snooping over here, but I want vision. Okay, now I know. Back to there unoffensively. Just to do, do a little bit of snooping. Yeah, they've got like eight or 900, something like that. So I now have about the same amount of troops as blue, unless they've got more over here that I can't see. Green's attacking multiple times. Are you trying to eliminate the bot for their four cards? And they fortify 97 from there down to hold their borders over here. And the bot trades on four. Fantastic. These guys' refusal to ever take out the bot is working beautifully for me. We had the problem with the red bot being aggressive against us. We turned to our advantage, pushed them out when I shouldn't have. But now we're using this one properly. Little card trade for us. The plan continues. This is why I prefer playing against beginners and novices, maybe intermediates though. Um, masters, experts, grandmasters, they'll stay here for two or three hours. Test of patience and spare time, which I have the most of right now. Blue attack down there and only lost one. Are you two guys card trading down here? I don't realize it. No, you're fortifying over here, so you have a one point hold over here. I want to attack here and have vision here. That way I can know if you are, um, if I can see if you attack down this way or that way with the stack. I want to know if you're card trading with green all of a sudden. 
five troops for us and a forced trade on five gives us 187 extra troops. It's a lot. I stack three here for a card trade. We put the rest over here. Nice big 1,000 stack over there is amazing. We hit this. You have 177 there. Just looking for vision on the board. And keep an eye to see if you start trading with green all of a sudden. I'm surprised it took you this long to stack all three of these onto one stack right here. I'm not sure why you had like 100 here, 100 here, 100 here. It's a weird play. But this means that you're defending here, and maybe here, here. So bot eventually card trades and slams you off capital, and I gave more of a lead. Boom! Green just hits that 177. That's fantastic. Green's losing patience. They've recognized that blue knife and card trade them into having to slam the bot. That means you're down to three, five, six hundred, maybe one or two hundred, seven or eight hundred. Now I have like 200 maybe 300 more troops than blue. The plan's working. Blue trades in for 195, so at best they're even with us right now. But also probably slightly lower slightly lower if I can talk properly and I have more cards. I wonder if green hit them here and then ran through there and slammed them there. No, they would have uh, gotten through this surely and hit that if they tried to self-destruct. I don't think that was a full self-destruct from green, but I definitely need to scope out what's going on down there. I could even try freeing your capital that way if you want to take this and just roam in down there, you can. Ooh. You've retreated all this capital. Here's the problem. If I free this, there's also a chance that you run out and slam into me. If that's what you've been waiting for. I don't think you have. We've been working together. Should be mad at green, right? I mean, if you really wanted to slam green, they could just fortify off and then do it the next turn. Which means they also really want to slam me. They could fortify off and do it next turn. Well, I don't want to try a 6v3. It's not guaranteed. I'm going to put them right here because I want vision on the board to see what you're looking right, like down here. Okay, just, just the bot. Okay. So, blue is just in here, and maybe down in here. 200 troop traded in. If they're getting big, green traded in on three. Gonna try to eliminate the bot. Gonna try and slam blue from this direction. Might hit my 65 along there, it's not the end of the world. If I'm lucky, they're just on tilt, and they're gonna self-destruct on blue. Okay, they hit that, it's not the end of the world for me. No, they're just trying to grab Asia. Are they both gonna try and car block me now? How many troops did you get last turn? Green, you got nine. So I think that means you still have both the caps, but you had a 600 stack. Did you have like a 400, 400 card trade? I put 200 here, so you have a total of a thousand, same as me. I feel like you should have less than me, right? Blue's attacking somewhere, down here. 200 troop trading from the bot. The bigger these trades from the bot get, the better for us, especially since you only have 288 down here. Eventually that bot's gonna do some work on you. I think I'm in first place on the troops though, is great for us, and the bot doesn't really seem to care about stacking next to me so much, which is great. And keep card trading with blue for now unless they decide they don't want to card trade with me. Which would then force me to start hitting the bot. And now then I would be in green's position. Green's attacking multiple times. They're losing patience. It's been like an hour and almost 15 minutes we've been playing this match. I saw what you were going to do, green. You were going to stack here the entire match, hoping everybody self-destructs. Your plan was predictable. So I knew that I had to stack on one single cap and just have more patience than you. Unfortunately, the only solution I found in a 1v1v1 where all three players are just want to like, I'm going to sit here forever and wait an hour and a half or two hours until one of you loses patience and slams each other. The only real winning solution I find is just to stack here hyper aggressively and wait till you guys just get mad at each other. Bots down to three troop income, holding no bonuses. Can't help but notice that blue's not uh, card trading with me anymore. Well, maybe they want me to eventually free their capital. Honestly, freeing their capital could be good because then, you know, they'll go do some damage, right? All right, force trade on five for us here. Extra 210 troops. Lovely. I'm going to put this up to 15, so I need to attack that five of yours. I want to have some left over. Not that it's, you know, too difficult for you to break it, but just to let you know what I'm trying to do here is move around. I'm not going to break it this turn, in case you are trying to card block me. I mean, if, you, if Blue really wanted to card block me, they could just go hit all of this stuff here, and then I'd be forced to hit this. I mean, they, they wouldn't be a card block, but, you know. No, they'd have to put, like, a bunch here, and I could slap it. If they want to card block me, they just have to let me go through here, but then I'm just all of a sudden in here. I don't think they can card block me. Green is AFK, maybe taking a bathroom break. It has been a while. Do you guys think I should limit my matches to not allow Masters or Grandmasters in? That way we don't get these boring forever matches. If you have, if you have matches with novices, beginners, intermediates, entertainment. Experts and masters are higher, it's just this. Stack on your cap and wait till they lose patience. You let me know. Because in this game, you can adjust it to not allow masters and experts, whatever, into your lobbies. Unless you are a master or expert, whatever, right? Or maybe you like this. I don't know. You tell me. Okay, so blue is trying to card block me. Blue to stack 215 right there with their card trade. They are trying to card block me. They're trying to force me to be the one attacking the bot now. So it went from me and blue working together against green to now green and blue trying to work against me. Don't love that. I can just card trade and slap that 215 to teach you that I'm not all about that life. It's better than me hitting the bot. 225? Yeah. Let's let you know 
that I'm not going to tolerate that. They'll probably slap that 63 out of there, but they lost 50 troops more than I did. That was good for green, but me hitting this and losing 30 here is a net gain of 30 for you and a 30 for you. Me hitting you is a net loss of 200 for me, or 170 for me. Well, actually, 250 once you hit this. But hopefully, they'll understand I will not be card blocked. You will, you will not card block me. It's either me and you versus green, or I'm just trying to get my cards and it's a 1v1v1. But I'm not going to waste troops hitting the bot. The bot staying alive and card trading and slamming your capitals, which are weaker. I think these guys winning play would be to fortify onto a single capital like I've been doing, but they're not. Green still hasn't left yet, but they might be about to miss another turn. I mean, if they keep doing that, that's, that's just them not getting cards and me and blue getting farther and farther ahead. Blue if they were paying attention, would realize this and we could just keep card trading, get bigger and bigger, but instead they want to try and card block me. I think blue just misclicked and skipped past their attack turns right into fortify. Yeah, they didn't get a card either. They both card skipped. It's fine by me. Bot and I get stronger, mess you guys up more. Works for me. The bot's coming on in. Well, here's a problem. 6v5 is not a guaranteed card. Do I want to hit this and not have access to you? I mean, push comes shove. If I want to hit you, I can come the other way around. I mean, the bot will eventually just free it for me, right? So... If you guys are letting the bot rampage, the bot will rampage through North America as well, and they'll eventually clear out this uh, Greenland path for me. They're both still here, nobody's botted out, but they are stalling the timer. That's three turns in a row that you have uh, not gotten a card. And now Blue's doing the same thing. What is happening here? You both started stalling at the same time. I guess Blue one turn later. Stalling is reportable, right? Another card skip. I mean, I do need, need to use the bathroom. Maybe I just, uh, you know, take advantage of the fact that they're going to spend two minutes on their turns to give myself a nice little bathroom break, maybe? Or maybe there's some kind of, like, issue with the, the servers. Why is the bot making it so hard for me to get a card? We try the 6v4 and hope for it to happen. You just stop leaving these fours. Get that. Give me that card. Nice. And, uh, was, I can't even see what number that is. That's a one. Break that as well. Okay, hello green. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is the same things I need to use the bathroom, and my turn will end on its own. Alright, I'm back. Good timing. Great timing. Watch my hands and everything. Looks like the blue player bought it out. Green is not. Okay, so what we do right now, um, do I yoink this cap with a card trade? No, I don't think we do. I mean, I need to get cards and, uh, um, I think the the green bot and the black, or the blue, the blue bot and the black bot are gonna take each other a bunch. So we're gonna hit this for a card. It's expensive. It's expensive, but, um, actually, what if I just did some scouting while we're out here? Okay, you've got 591 over there still. Now that blue's botted out, if they stay botted out, um, do, like, do I want to yoink their capitals? I don't think I need to. I think if I leave the, the blue bot alone, eventually it starts fighting the black bot and green. I'm not sure why green and blue, like, basically at the same time, just decided to, like, stop playing. The blue player missed two turns and then just bought it out, so I'm, I'm guessing they closed out the app and just took a couple turns for it to realize. This is, the I think, the fourth or fifth turn in a row you've run out the timer, so I don't know what's going on with you. They might have taken bathroom breaks at the same time and... Nah, no, I don't know. I mean, if green just keeps card skipping, it's just better and better for me, right? Our play is simple. We stack it right here. We get a card trade because finally there's like a couple cheap ones. Get the bot options to attack. The bot doesn't seem to want to attack every territory I have. So fortify back up there and hopefully it leaves me one of these to get a cheap card trade on. Are you a bot yet? Nope, just stalling still. I mean, it's been six turns. I'm not actually going to report you, but I just want to know if reporting is like a, a thing you can do. Click you. I'm not going to. I just want to know, like, is stalling a listed thing here? Stalling, yes. So, I mean, if they're still doing this like 10 minutes from now, I will report them for stalling. But I'm not going to right yet. We're almost exactly an hour and a half into this session. That This is the fifth or sixth turn they've done this. But I'm also hesitant to because he both started doing the exact same time, which makes me wonder, are you, um, is am I having some internet problems not realizing it? Is the risk server having problems I'm not realizing it? Or did you both just throw them out at the same time? Was this one person controlling two accounts the entire time and they let one bot out to let the bots fight out so the other one could get stronger? I don't, I don't know. I mean, if, if that was the case, then Green would keep card trading, right? I have to assume it's two different people. 
Unfortunately, the bot just stacked a lot near me right there, offline right now, because um, I think I'm the only cap that they're like currently next to. Ooh, that did a lot of damage to them as well. So the bots like to stack near caps, and right now the blue's territory is only touching my cap, so it's gonna put most of the stuff here. But eventually, it's going to um, either lose its cap to this bot, or um, it'll push out and touch its cap, and it'll start splitting evenly among caps, right? Hopefully. If not, I can like just rotate out and switch caps down to this one, just attack. Maybe if they clear this, go through here and go over there. Bot's not cooperating for me to get an easy card over here. Gonna force me to attack a bunch. Trading 242, are you here? You're still here, you haven't bought it out yet, so it's safe you had. I do need to get a card here, so I'm gonna put that right there for a card. And also just nice to have vision what's going on around here and give the bots a nice path to keep fighting each other. Make sure the bots not attacking my stuff. You've got 393 there, 187 there. Can I get vision over here? Give you, give the bot a path to attack. Ah, oh, they already did take it. Okay, now we know. All right, that means the blue bottle want to start going over there. If the green player's plan is to like pretend to be AFK for 10 turns in a row, 10 minutes of me sitting here waiting like this for it to fill out, that plan's not gonna work on me because I'll just sit back, let the two bots break each other down a bunch. And then once they're pretty weak on troops compared to each other, and I've got more than you because I've been card trading, I just roll in and destroy you, right? Another turn of stalling from green. And the bot takes back its capital. And I can actually see what's happening now. If green would just hurry up and bot out already, this would be so much faster. I could go and attack, and the problem is blue, the second I do that, just comes back from being a bot, most likely. Do I win a 6v3 again? I think I tried it earlier. Good dice. Hey, there we go, there's a card. Maybe we attack this too. Nah, we don't get it. That's fine, though. This bot... The black bot does not want to attack these up here for easier cards for me. Oh, you're back? Oh, you're back? No, you finally bought it out. Okay, so they they did leave and became a bot. Maybe they did it right away and the game took forever to, like, realize it. Or maybe they were hoping that I would, um... Or maybe the game's code, they were like, if they run out the turn timer seven times, it then will force them to become a bot. I don't know. But this is good. It means you'll the bot will start attacking off cap, you'll weaken each other's troops, and I can finally just do a, like a quick cap run at some point to wrap it up. But it will be a few more turns of waiting for me for that to happen, because there's a decent chance that either blue or green is just pretending to be a bot. It is kind of suspicious that they both bought it out at the same time. I mean, if you're going to leave the game, at least like slam somebody with their troops before you go, right? Speed it up for everybody else. Ah, finally, the bots give me a, a chance at card trade, maybe? No, why is the bot leaving... The bot's normally split, it's leaving one behind every time. What's up with you? There's no way that guy came back from being a bot, right? This long? Well, five troops for us. I do need a card, and weakening you guys up does speed things along. I'm, I'm, I highly suspect these guys might... There's a good chance one of these guys is not actually AFK. I'm very wary of that possibility. 17 for green. I think green's holding Asia. That was a quick turn in. Still a bot. Hello, that's a lot of troops. Man, even with editing, I think this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> Do you guys even enjoy games like this where I'm forced to stack on cap the entire match? Or should, or if I have a match where I see this guy's gonna stack on cap the whole match, should I just like leave? Because if you can go, if you guys enjoy watching me stack on cap for an hour and a half and card trade until these guys lose patience, and I can, you know, I can do that for a video. But if you guys are like, even with editing, this was boring. You just stacked on cap and wait for them to fight each other. What I can do in the future when I'm getting matches like this, I can just be like, oh, okay, these guys are gonna play boring. I'll just leave and my rank will just tank, and then, you know, go find a match where I'm not playing with boring people who want to spend an hour and a half stacking on cap. What do you prefer? All right, card train of five right here. We do one of these maneuvers right here. Thank you. We do one of these. We do some scouting out a bit, see how weak you've actually gotten. You still got 242 on that cap. It's not on there. Do I take this cap from you and just split between the two and start working towards getting the caps? Um, maybe we, maybe we do that. Actually, I can, um, tack down here and... Might as well increase my bonus a little bit, right? And I can protect the two caps now. And if somebody comes back from being AFK, well, we can, you know, deal with that, I guess. And then we fortify some of this over to here. Hopefully a lot. That's all we get. There needs to be an option just to type in how many you want to transfer. I think grabbing their caps one by one while the, uh, when the bots happen to fortify off them is a good plan because then that forces the the bots to you know attack each other's stacks when they're off cap right this bot loves stacking there and all this because green wanted to just stack that one cap from the beginning of the match for the next like hour and a half and i saw it coming 
and I read them like a book. And I tricked them into holding two caps, and then we got the, and then we used the bots against them, first the red and then the black bots, and I managed to kind of force blue into working with me against green, got them weak, and then they both just gave up at the same time. I don't think it was the servers dying. Normally the servers have an error, like some error message pops up. I think they just both tapped out at the same time. And troops for us, still waiting for you to leave that cap there, buddy boy. Give me that card though, and we wait again. These bots are taking a while to beat each other up, I'll tell you that much. Yes, get off that capital. Blue has no capitals right now, okay. Big trading though. I don't like how you have no capitals, but you're stacking right here. I guess this is touching two capitals, this one and this one, which means the I think the black bot has his capital and it'll have less troops on it. So if you, this decides to attack in capital, probably gonna be that one right there. This is the moment. You attacked something, only lost 46. How did you attack, only lose 46, and then leave 827? I don't understand how that happened. Bots don't do partial attacks, do they? Did they just attack an instant split and only put three down there? That must have been it, right? Nine troops for us. Simple then, they go here, we attack for a card, and then we fortify back over to here. And as long as there's a, a, a blue stack of 827, I don't really feel safe trying to run around for cap run. I need to see this blue stack hit a cap here, move away. Once that's down to like 100, 200, 300, maybe try for cap run. But once we get this cap easier, maybe. Are you all still bots is the question. So far, yes. I would love to know if I can cap run. I've got no vision and it's too expensive to go get it. If I knew you guys were not going to come back from being bots, I would just attack through here, 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 here. Send something through here and just get vision on the board, but... The problem is, people like, so if somebody sticks a match for an hour and a half, there's a good chance they'll try like the fake AFK strategy. That's a lot of troops though. I kind of want to put them here for defense against you, frankly. What if we put them here and we do a little bit of like looking for vision around this way? It'll be a little bit expensive, but these guys have been losing a lot fighting each other for a while here. And I'd like to see what's going on around over here. How weak have you guys gotten? What's the fighting's happening down there? In fact, I can actually move over here. Maybe I can actually do a cap run right now. Yeah, we can cap run right now. Wait, wait, no, no, I don't need that. I need this. Yeah, we, finally, finally, the moment has happened. This is it. An hour and 45 minutes of my life just gone, but there it is. You'll love to see it. Now I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time, unless you want to see the ranks. And also let me know how you feel about games like this where I stack cap and just outpatience them. Is it boring or not? Really, beginner, 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 intermediate? I could have sworn the way you guys stack would have been more like expert or master. All right, well, there it is. See you next time.